Hello everyone, this is Lament Config from Green Slime Games, and I've just realised I haven't done a YouTube video in a while to update everyone with the status of the game. So today I'm just going to go over some of, um, of the web stats that I collect, and some of the, the, the quite funky stuff which is going on server side. So if we have a look here, this is greenslimegames.com slash games slash space or minor slash stats.php. It's actually available um, on the actual main game page. You can click on the stats screen and it will take you to this rather ugly looking screen. But there's some quite cool information. You've got the total games played, total or mine, totals moles lost. Um, and if we just, just scroll down a bit, you've got a little bit of paragraph text there about what's actually been happening. Got a top 10 based on the total amount of Solaris that people have collected. And you've got a breakdown of every single ore which has been mined in the game on this section just here. And there's just a little funky little graph there showing you ore collected over time for, for specific ores. Um, one of the, the features that I've created quite recently are Roid Maps. Which is basically when you finish your game, it uploads what you've mined to the server. Which means I can produce a little thing like this. This shows every area that you've actually dug into um, and is collected for every game, mined by whoever, profit made by them. If you have a look, there we go, that, that's quite a small mine. Um, but what this also allows me to do is to create a heat map. And here we go, this is the heat map of every single game played and most popular areas to mine in. So obviously this top area here, um, which is the, the preset little T junction, is always been mined. So that's that's the brightest part. And there's only a few people. This this layer here represents when you need to buy the upgrade to mine more more deep into the ride, um, which is why it's 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 hot along this line here. Um, these these vertical ones are most probably rods being sent up. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, if we go back to the stat screen, also there are player breakdowns. Um, so if we have a look, this is my account. Um, players get titles. Every player who joins gets uh, a title of Roid Miner. Um, and people who played the first version have that title. Um, and what this shows, this shows me. When I joined, the number of games I've played, number of moles I've lost, the Solaris I've made, um, and a breakdown of all the the elements that I haven't actually managed to mine yet. I've got quite a quite a few of these at zero tons. I should actually go and and collect them all. Um, and yeah, so if we have a look at Noble Kale, um, he was the first place winner, so he has an additional title um, bestowed upon him. Um, and there we go. That's what I wanted to show you, just to show you what's coming on. The the actual, these asteroid mine maps are the first step in actually letting you revisit asteroids you've already mined, um, rather than constantly going to new asteroids. And if you have a look at, at my blog, there's quite a, a detailed description about procedural generation with asteroids um, and how I'm, I'm working on solving that problem. So anyway keep playing the game, hope you enjoy it, um, and let me know what you think.